All right, guys, here we are at the very first storage unit. Uh, first off, I want to say I'm sorry. There's a fan literally directly behind me, so it's uh, pretty loud. But I'll try to speak up and, and just kind of show you guys. We'll go through this. As you can see, not a whole lot of stuff in this unit. We'll go through this pretty quickly, and I'll just film the whole time. But I just wanted to give you guys uh, my first impressions and, and tell you why I chose this unit. This unit was $40, and to be honest, the reason... I purchased this unit. Now I haven't I haven't touched anything in here yet. Is that right there? I'm hoping that that is in there. Do I think that's in there? No, but I'm hoping. But um, really, what's going to get me my money back is this right here. Now, unfortunately, that tape deck is missing one of the uh, one of the the panels on the front, but that's okay. The rest of that should be able to uh, at least get me my 40 bucks back and I'm not exactly sure what this is on the bottom let's take a look but yeah let's just go ahead and uh, look through this stuff let's see what we got here oh here we go nice little surprise here let's see what we got looks like oh, here we go looks like the front to a car radio there for Chrysler I actually just sold um, ago a month ago or so one of these now I don't know if I can sell this or not but what's that looks like a tape deck and a CD player for a Chrysler so don't know if that's gonna be anything that's worth anything but I did not expect that to be in here so that's no problem like I said this is is what I was hoping to get be able to get my money back on but I don't know what this thing is on the bottom there we go all right Looks like a Sony five disc CD player. So if all this stuff tests out, looks like the wires on there are good. That test out, I'll be able to easily get my uh, 40 bucks back on just that little stack alone. So there's that. Wow, I don't know. Okay, this is not what I was ex expecting to be honest. I don't know what's, well these are like some blaze or something, whatever. So we got a TV here. Now this is very interesting. This thing right here. I thought that was a filing cabinet. So me and you know, whenever I, I'm thinking about purchasing storage units, I show my buddies and we play a game of what do we think this is. I thought that was a, a filing cabinet, so that's pretty interesting. This right here is just a old TV. It'll be something that I probably just get rid of. Um, so, not not much going on there. Igloo cooler. Let's have some value sometimes. Clean that up. Is there anything inside? Doesn't feel like there's anything inside. No, nope, there's nothing inside there. All right. So this was the other thing that I was kind of interested in. These we couldn't figure out what these were. Do they have anything in them? No, they do not. Okay, I was hoping maybe there was stuff in them. Doesn't feel there isn't, but kind of interesting. Got a little strap. I really have no idea what this is. Opening it up, I, I honestly no idea what this is. It looked interesting, looked cool, like a got a shoulder strap. I don't know, guys. Tell me in the comments below. Do you have any idea what these would be? Right there, that thing, it's, like I said, got a little shoulder strap. Now, wait a minute. This has something in it. This here. Let's take a look. And I love opening storage units just for this. What's in here? Okay. Aha, we have solved the mystery. Okay, so this is, what is this? A bottle of something. Grey Goose. Is there anything in there? No, it's just a bottle of Grey Goose. See, this is very interesting. So that's what that is. So it's a wine holder. This one has a glass in the other side. A little wine glass there. So I don't know. That's pretty interesting. Might be able to get something for those. It's got some sort of markings on the front. What does it say? Ah, look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Grey Goose Vodka. So this is specifically for Grey, Grey Goose. Very interesting. Was not expecting that. 
and we got two of them, so that's cool. Should be should be able to get something for that. Sorry about my fingers in the lens there. Should be able to get something for that. Now this. Oh man, I let's all right. Let's go straight for the Xbox. All right, I don't know why I'm nervous, but I am. Have some weight. Have some weight. Okay. You guys want the good news or the bad news? Good news is we only spent forty dollars on this unit, and we've easily, like I said, easily got our money back. That stack of electronics there, and these Grey Goose wine um, bottle holders are very interesting, um, and probably something I should be able to get some money for. But unfortunately, no Xbox in there. Look, and this is kind of weird. Look. All this, it's, it's Xbox One, but it plays Xbox 360. So, unfortunately, that box is empty. And, you know, usually when you buy these units, you don't expect this stuff to be in here. I mean, uh, you know. So, I didn't expect it to be in there, but I hoped it was. And, unfortunately, my friends, it is not. Now, I also wondered what was it that it was sitting on top of. And these are manual hand hygiene dispensers. It's very interesting. They're like, I guess, brand new soap dispensers. It's an interesting unit. Not a whole lot in this unit, but a lot of stuff going on in this unit, if you know what I mean. Oh, that's cool. Brand new, like, soap, hand soap dispensers. Check it out. See that? That's pretty cool. Not exactly sure what those would be worth, but... I would assume I should be able to get something for those. And there's one, two, three of them. Now, this is very interesting. I thought this was a filing cabinet, to be honest. And I was kind of happy to be getting that filing cabinet because I could use a filing cabinet. This, my friends, is not a filing cabinet. This, here's the, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this thing, but this is like the, I guess the parts that go in there. Let's let's spin it around, take a look. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. So what? <laughs> what are we gonna do with a hot chocolate, smooth and creamy machine? <laughs> To be honest, I don't know. I'll have to test it and see if it works. Wow, this is very, very interesting. Man, I love I love opening storage units. For this alone, I literally have no idea what I'm going to do with this thing, but it's pretty cool. But it's you can see these are I guess the the parts that go with it. There's some CS like canisters, some some lines and stuff that go to the back of it. If this thing tests and work works, I don't I don't see why I can't get some money for it right but very cool check it out hot chocolate caution hot liquid that's cool very cool does it have like a key or something no no key or anything maybe it just pops open yep there we go check it out so it's obviously something i'm have to gonna have to sell locally but I'll throw it up on Facebook Marketplace, let go of those places like that, and try to get some money out of it. That's very, very interesting. That definitely makes this unit, I mean, there's no reason I can't sell that. So even though there wasn't many items in this unit, and the one item that I wanted to be in this unit was not, still some pretty interesting surprises. Like I said, that stack of electronics will give us our 40 bucks back. The Grey Goose wine things are really, really cool. The, you know, those, those hand uh, soap dispensers are pretty cool. I don't see why I couldn't. So those, this seems like kind of a, the remnants of some sort of old cafe or restaurant or something where they would have a hot cocoa machine. They would have those hand uh, soap dispensers. So pretty cool unit. Um, like I said, not much going on here. So I'm going to get this stuff loaded up and uh, taken to the car. And then I will catch up with you guys at the next storage locker. All right, here we are at unit number two. Now, I paid $40 for this unit. 
um, and I'll show you just right off the bat I just opened the door this is what I saw in the pictures that made me want to buy this unit and then you and then we'll play a little game and you guys can decide what you think so this is what I saw from the picture there are Super Mario Bros 3 for the NES now that right there is Super Mario Brothers 2 for the NES as well those two alone I can get about 12 to 15 dollars for those each so I'll be able to get about 25 to 30 dollars back from those two alone so again paid 40 bucks for this now when I was looking at the picture me and my friends like I said we play a little game of uh, what do we see in the pictures and you know we try to find the, the good stuff but when we saw these these are just kind of uh, they're weirdly placed aren't they like they're you know this is just kind of on top that's just on top of there so we were trying to decide if this was a I don't know if storage units do this or something open the door flip a couple NES things in there and, and hope a video game guy comes along and bids this up I will say this though this is the one good thing it has going for it if we look on top of this right here and you can kind of see it there that's pretty dusty on top of there that's that's been there for a while so that's a good sign I think I don't know I'm just trying to find some good signs but you can see here you know a perfect unit for me you know not any big furniture I guess the biggest peach piece of furniture is gonna be those bed rails right there there's like a picture mirror thing back there so some totes to go through some clothes to go through this is gonna be a lot of fun I'm I'm, I'm pretty excited here oh hey look pan down here that's pretty interesting there's a the rock band right there so guys mowing grass right here so sorry about that but all right I'm gonna set you guys down I'm gonna do like in the last video where I do clips where I'll, I'll start to dig through, through stuff if I find anything interesting I will pick you guys back up and show you what I found and then I'll do you know various times I'll just kind of come in and show you you know the progress that I've made I've got an hour and 15 minutes to clean this out so I need to get to work and I will see you guys in a minute all right just want to give you guys a little update um, got you know cleaning process is going good still got an hour left before the office closed I'm trying to get this cleaned out so I can get my deposit back and not have to come back here tomorrow but got a you know a good start got some trash a trash pile working here but wanted to show you guys what I got um, so far nothing nothing great nothing too crazy um, still have back here to go some boxes there looks like a bunch of totes full of clothes so we're still hoping still hoping for the the video games to be in here somewhere but let me show you guys what I found found these cassette tapes a little thing full of cassette tapes Michael Jackson you know some some decent cassette tapes there I found this this is gonna make me some money I think it's a whole bag a ton of I think I guess these are Skylanders maybe I'm not really sure I think they are though but what I'll do with these I'll clean them up and I'll just put them in one big lot sell them on eBay you know get some money off those just a bunch of Skylanders a ton in here so that's gonna make for a good lot and then like I showed you guys before we, we had Mario 2 Mario 3 I found Mario 1 so we got the trifecta there oh my OCD it's not the right order there we go Mario 1 2 and 3 in here so um, didn't really find any other video game stuff just this old you can see this rock band drum set it's all colored on and there's a generic game stop controller for ps2 so that all will be garbage so i haven't found anything else super exciting yet but we still as you can see we got a little bit to go so i will check back in with you guys in a minute all right here we are with another update moving right along let me back up so you guys can see the full shot there we're more than halfway done still got about 45 minutes left so we're moving along haven't loaded any of it up yet. It's a lot of totes with clothes, a lot of garbage. But let me show you guys what I found uh, recently. This gives me hope. Found three of these rock band Guitar Hero guitars and an Xbox 360 controller. Looks pretty good. The thumbstick's a little chewed up, but I can clean that up. And I have an Xbox 360, so I'll use that for myself. And 
got some more tapes there and a bunch of change as you can see I mean that's you know a couple bucks and change and then these little guys here some good batteries I mean I know when I buy these for like handheld systems and stuff that take these types of batteries they're usually five six bucks a piece for these so I mean that's something save these for when I need them again so I don't have to pay that much that money to uh, replace the batteries and something that takes something like that so no giant video game score yet um, you know I'm hoping I'm hoping it's in here somewhere we got a few boxes in the back corner there so I'm hoping they're gonna be in the back corner a couple more totes another tote of clothes looks like some more bags of clothes so gotta get to work I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit if I find anything okay all right guys we are I've want I went through everything um, pretty much just have to throw some more trash away load this stuff up but I wanted to do another check-in and show you guys what I found so I will say I did not find the video game score I was looking for but we did score some video games but let's start here at the end I got kind of a line going here for you guys found a lot of collectible stuff so that was unexpected um, see here some just some San Antonio Spurs book a lot of NASCAR collectible stuff never really sold this stuff before but I guess we're gonna find out there's actually four of these coke bottles so look, Dale Earnhardt Jr. 2002 coke bottles again more collectible NASCAR stuff these are pretty cool so just some cars there I don't really know much about NASCAR but that guy there Jeremy Mayfield so you know might be able to sell those for something those are interesting a couple more here not in those nice little cases but a couple, a couple more there check this out we got some baseball cards some Reds guys there's Jay Bruce what's up check this out now I don't know if this is that, signed baseball have no idea who those signatures are could be their kids doesn't look like a kid's signature but don't know who that is and I'm usually pretty decent at looking at signatures and seeing who they might be I'll have to inspect that a little better at home but that's pretty interesting like I said got some more collectible bottles here just some all oh, these got different drivers on them so set of collectibles some CDs haven't really looked through them but some CDs there now like I said we did get a video game score not exactly the video game score I was looking for but video game stuff nonetheless let me show you found a box had some Xbox 360s stuff in it surprising a couple of NASCAR games Skylanders Skylanders found a lot of Skylander stuff in here so I think that's probably gonna be where I make a decent amount of money on that Skylander stuff that Tiger Woods game is pretty interesting looks like some sort of limited edition maybe I'm not real sure but pretty interesting Guitar Hero 5 Hurdy Gurdy for PS2 I've never actually heard of that so I'm not sure what that is or if that's got any value but that's pretty interesting the game I've never heard of and I found this this is pretty cool another Guitar Hero guitar a wireless one <clears throat> it looks pretty like it's in really good condition as you can see there it's even got the the little guitar dongle I've sold these before uh, seven eight bucks for that so that'll that'll sell it's a pretty interesting thing there to go with the other three guitars that I found so not the video game score I was looking for but still got some collectibles and some video games stuff that I wasn't expecting to be in here no more Nintendo games just three regular Nintendo games isn't that weird Mario 1 Mario 2 and Mario 3 so that's it for now I'm gonna show you guys I guess the finished product once I get all this stuff cleaned out and uh, I'll check back in with you then good morning uh, just wanted to kind of put a finalization on this unit um, it's actually the next day the next morning um, 
I underestimated how much stuff was going to be in this unit, but uh, we got it all cleaned out finally. We're going to be able to go up there and get our deposit back. So just wanted to show you guys the final product. I'm actually on my way to another storage auction, but this one is not online. I buy these all online. This one is actually like a real live storage auction. There's six units, so you possibly could be seeing another video coming soon. But just wanted to put a capper on this unit, and then the next time you guys will hear from me, will be I'll be in my office, and we'll just kind of recap what happened in the first unit and what happened in the second unit and kind of talk about that. So I will see you guys in the office. All right, so we are back here in the office. It's actually the next day, and I just wanted to kind of put a, you know, a nice bow on the whole video and, and do a little recap. I've had a, a chance to look up and do a little bit more research on some of the items that we found in the storage units. Um, so I'll talk a bit about that, but I guess let's start with uh, the first unit, which um, is a very, you know, it didn't have much, many items in there, but there was actually a lot going on in that unit. Um, it was, I really liked that unit. Um, the reason I bought that unit was for two reasons. A, the Xbox One box. I was hoping that the Xbox was in there. Obviously, I figured it wasn't. Um, but more importantly, the stack of electronics up front, the Sony um, tape deck and CD player and receiver. So, um, unfortunately, uh, the two things that in the unit that I was uh, banking on actually turned out to be duds. So, obviously, the Xbox One was not in the box. So... And I did, like I said, I didn't expect it to be. But the uh, stack of electronics, so the, it was like a three-piece set. The, the top three pieces were all uh, together, and then the bottom part was separate. That was the CD player, the five-disc CD player. So the three-piece set was pretty much garbage. The the tape uh, deck, the tape deck front was was uh, ripped off. The power button was gone. So that was pre that pretty much went into the garbage. I had no value. But the CD player on the bottom was in good condition. I uh, plugged it in, tested it, works great. So I'll be able to get about $40 on eBay for just that the CD part. So there, there's my money back. There's the $40 I spent on the unit back. So that's good. Um, but the more interesting things in that unit were um, the Grey Goose wicker bottle carrier. It's like a, collect, a collector's edition Grey Goose carrier thing. Um, those were very interesting. Um, look those up on eBay. They're going to go for about 25 or 30 bucks each. So we had two of those. So that's 50 or 60 bucks in those. So that's cool. Um, and something I wasn't expecting. And the very, very cool thing was the hot chocolate maker. Now, from the original photos, from what I could see, I thought it was a filing cabinet. And I was okay with it being a filing cabinet. I actually already had plans for it being a filing cabinet. So um, when I got there and, and you know, I was able to see it in person and realized, man, this is definitely not a filing cabinet. Um, it turned out to be something even better, obviously. So uh, the hot chocolate maker, I did some research on that, looked it up on eBay, the model number and stuff, and it goes anywhere between $400 and $750 pre-owned on eBay. Now, I'm not going to sell it on eBay for shipping. I'm going to sell it locally. So and I, so I will put The good thing about selling locally is there's so many sites now that you can post uh things locally, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, OfferUp, LetGo, and on eBay itself, you can post for lo local pickup only. So I will, the first thing I need to do is test it. Obviously, uh, this all hinges on it actually working. So what I'm going to do is take it to my dad's house, and we're going to hook water up to it, and, and of course, I'm going to clean it real well. We're going to put some cocoa mix in there, some hot chocolate mix in there, and see if we can't make ourselves a, a, a cup of hot cocoa. So, um pretty you know pretty interesting um find there and like i said 400 to 750 dollars if it works uh it was like a restaurant quality you know something you would find in a cafe on the counter so pretty pretty that was pretty cool um and like i said if it tests out it'll sell for quite a bit even if i you know i probably want to ask 750 for it but you know even if i could just get 400 out of it that's pretty great considering i only spent 40 bucks on the unit so um, so that that unit was was perfect for me, you know. Not a, you know, I liked that it didn't have a bunch of garbage and clothes and house goods and you know all the stuff you typically find in a unit. It was nice, clean, easy. You know, that took me, I mean, 15, 20 minutes to clean out. So that's perfect. Didn't spend a ton of money on it. So unit one definitely a success. I I, I would say that it you know even if even if the hot chocolate machine doesn't work, it was still a pretty good pretty good unit. So all right, let's talk about unit two. The reason I bought Unit 2 was um, the Nintendo games that were sitting there. Um, 
that you could see in the pictures and you saw when I when I first showed the unit. So there was Mario 2 and Mario 3, and I knew with those two games alone, um, I could get uh, about 25 bucks for those two. So I paid 40 bucks for that unit as well, and I saw those two games, and I thought, okay, I can sell those and get about 25 bucks. Um, so I needed to find $15 more in that unit, and I think we did. But unfortunately, I did not find any other Nintendo games besides the, there was Mario 1, so there was Mario 1, 2, and 3. And to me, it didn't make sense why these three games were in there. I didn't find any other Nintendo controllers, cords, any Nintendo branded stuff whatsoever. I found some Xbox and PS2, but no Nintendo branded stuff. But then I found something, and at the time I didn't know what it was, so I didn't even show it on camera. But now that I have it, I've done a little bit more research. Let me show you guys what it is. It made everything make sense. So it's this Hyperken, it's called a Retron. And basically what it does is you could put regular Nintendo games in here and use this kind of like a regular Nintendo. It was like a generic model of Nintendo that came out in the 2000s. Um, I think they're up to like, I think this is Retron 1. They're up to like Retron 7 or 8. Some of them can play Nintendo games, Super Nintendo games, N64. So they've they've increased what, what games can be play on the, played on this thing. And it comes with a couple of controllers, which were in the unit. They're shaped like regular Nintendo controllers. So that all makes sense now. So they, they bought this thing. They bought a few Nintendo games, the classics, from when they were probably a kid to play on this thing. And then that was it. They didn't buy any other Nintendo stuff. So that was the reason that stuff was in there. So like I said, 25 bucks from those games, you know, the other things that we found in the, you know, what else? We didn't find anything great. I mean, I did find other video game stuff, about 10 Xbox and PlayStation 2 games, which I didn't have any of those titles, so I'll be able to put those into the collection. So that's, that's money to me. That make you know, that makes up for some of the 15 bucks. Um, the NASCAR collectibles were pretty cool. Didn't expect to see those. I don't really know what I'm going to do with them. Obviously, I'll probably, what I'll probably do the thing. I'll have to do a little bit more research, but I might just lot them up and sell them as like a NASCAR collectible lot and see what I can get out of them. Just the easiest way to do it. Um, there was also uh, the Skylander stuff. That Skylander stuff was pretty interesting. That'll that'll make what I'll probably do with that again. We'll just I'll just lot those things up. There was quite a bit of that Sky those Skylander figures, so I'll lot those up and maybe I'll get twenty five thirty bucks for those. So that's something. And then the the Guitar Hero guitars. There were four guitars. Um, two of them really don't have any value, but the other two, the one was still in its box. It looked like it had never really ta been taken out, but it was in good condition. It was still in the box. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll be able to sell that on eBay for 15 or 20 bucks. Um, and then there was the other one, which didn't have the box, um, but I'll be able to sell that probably for about 10 bucks maybe. So that's some money. So anyway, um, what else was in that? Was there anything else? There wasn't really anything else in that unit. There was about I think I ended up with about six or seven totes of clothes, which I'll go through. I don't really sell clothes in my store that much, but I'll go through and see if I see anything that stands out to me. And then the rest of it, I'll take up to my local thrift and donate up there. So all in all, unit two, not the greatest, but still, you know, at this point in the, in the auction, the storage auction game, I'm at least trying to at least at the very least get my money back and then you know just have I mean it's for me it's fun that you know the, the search the treasure hunt that that has some value to me that's what's really fun um, so I'll be able to you know spend 40 bucks I'll be I'll be able to make money off of unit two I, you know like I said I'll be able to make a little bit money off of that but you know definitely not the video game score that I was hoping for but we did find some interesting things and like I said it was a lot of fun so um, the good news is here's a little little bit of news um, like I said, at the end of the, when I was at the storage unit, um, after we cleaned out unit two, um, I was on my way to another storage, like a, like an actual live storage, um, auction. They had six units. I ended up winning two of those units. I paid, uh, $20 for one and $10 for another. So, um, the first unit that I paid 20 bucks for was a pretty small unit. I didn't film any, um, I didn't film me cleaning that out. There was really nothing in there. The only thing that was in there, paid 20 bucks. I got one item in there that um, I'm going to sell for 45. So I'll, you know, make about 10 or 12 bucks on the unit. And then there was like some tools and stuff in that unit. But anyway, I'll talk a bit more about what was in that unit, but you won't actually see that unit. But the unit that you will see was the second unit I won pay 10 bucks there's quite a bit of stuff in there it seems like some interesting stuff there were some rc cars and stuff which was the reason i uh, bought the unit so that video will be coming out me and my wife are going to clean that over the weekend and then um that video will be coming out uh, later next week so uh, be on the lookout for more um 
storage clean out um, videos from me and as always we'll do our like our Monday on Monday I'll do the eBay what sold on eBay in the weekly update video so anyway that is it just wanted like I said just wanted to put kind of a recap of a nice bow on this video and hopefully you enjoyed it hopefully you enjoy these types of videos if you do give me a thumbs up and if you're not sus subscribed to the channel uh, you know help your boy out uh, like I said we hit over a hundred subscribers which is great um, and every day we're getting we're getting more subscribers so that's very very cool I appreciate again appreciate all the love all the support and hopefully you guys have a great weekend of sourcing and selling and just have a great weekend in general Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.